Welcome back to another episode of Game Night Studios. Today, I'm going to be talking about what it takes to become a professional miniature painter. Right out the box, you have to define what is a professional miniature painter. My own personal definition of what makes you a professional mini painter is apart from someone who just does it as a hobby of theirs, is if you make more money than you're spending on the hobby, I personally consider you to be a professional miniature painter. It doesn't matter if it's a small amount of money or a large amount of money. Obviously, some people are more successful in their professional careers than others but as long as you are making more money than you're putting into that hobby i consider you to be a professional miniature painter that's just my own personal definition so you're looking to get into the business of professional miniature painting where do you start it's important to know right out the gate you will not get rich doing this this is more of a hobby slash side hustle than anything you're not going to be able to or more than likely you're not going to be able to pay all your bills painting minis it's just it's not going to happen it doesn't matter how good you are so where do you begin first off uh, how to pick a price point. Picking a price point, you don't want to just stab in the dark. What I would recommend, first off, figure out what platforms you want to sell on, whether it be eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, uh, private Facebook groups, anything like that. Search in those marketplaces what similar minis are going for. And right there is going to be close to your starting point. I would honestly, whatever you're selling, sell it a little bit higher than that price point they have on there to see if your minis are better than theirs. And then gradually lower that down over time. Reassess the values every week or every month or so. If things are selling, it might be time to raise the prices. If things are just sitting there, maybe lower them. That's how you figure out where to get started with your price points. I highly recommend looking at a few different games. If you have one game in particular that you just love and that's your game, say it's 40k or Star Wars Legion or whatever, post those minis of course and then paint for a few other games and put those on whatever selling platform you have as well. Because not everybody plays that one game. People search for painted minis for a bunch of different games and if you only have the one you're going to miss out on entire markets if you don't have those minis on there as well that being said don't lower your prices if you can make so much an hour painting for one game and another game just doesn't sell very well i mean i would still keep one or two minis at that same high price point for that other game just so that you attract that market but don't focus your energy on painting minis for a game that doesn't sell well prime example i painted a bunch of minis for a game called monster apocalypse and it was a fun game i enjoyed playing it but i posted them and they just sat there like, it didn't matter how good the paint jobs were it didn't matter what i did they just sat there they did not sell well so i quit painting minis for that game and started focusing on other games you have to use your time where it's most valuable Advertise your own stuff. Start an Instagram page, start a Facebook page for your business, and make posts. Interact with other people's posts. Find some group that are into the same games you're in, or painting, or buying and selling minis, and post on there. It doesn't cost you anything but time, and it'll bring eyes to the place where you want them to go. And don't just sell on one platform. There's plenty out there. There's eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy. Uh, you can offer private commissions on your own personal Facebook page. Limiting yourself to one platform is not going to yield you the most money. Now, you got to do that at your own discrepancy. Etsy I know charges you to have things on there. eBay at least right now doesn't. I'm not super familiar with Facebook Marketplace. I've had some bad interactions with them in the past. So personally, I do only sell on eBay and private commissions through Facebook just because it's a hassle. But I do know if I went out there and put it on multiple platforms, I could potentially get more money. So it is something to be aware of. In addition to that, keeping track of your finances, keep track of your finances and your time to figure out how much you're making. So I have a little stopwatch. When I'm curious about how much I'm making an hour painting, I'll sit down to paint. Every single time I sit down, I'll hit that stopwatch. I'll start painting. If I stop for some reason, do something else, I'll stop the timer. Whenever I come back, I'll start it again. That's a perfect way to figure out how much you're making per hour. But it's very important to keep track of how, what your expenses are. Not just the mini costs, but you also have to take into account any kind of fees. If there's like a monthly subscription fee to whatever platform you have, taxes at the end of the month, shipping fees come up. Also keep track that you have to buy shipping materials, boxes, tape, packing materials, paint, glue, brushes, airbrushes, anything like that. All that has to be taken into account when you're actually trying to make money. So that was it. Just a quick little video trying to get you guys off the ground on how to become a professional miniature painter. I hope this helps and be sure to check out the uh, other video I'm going to come out with. It's going to be called How to Make More Money Painting Minis. So I'm going to have some good tips and tricks to how to increase your revenue painting minis and then what to do with it. Hope you guys like it. Uh, like, follow, subscribe. Game Night Studios. Thank you very much for coming out.